Hi loves, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I don't even know what I'm calling this vlog. Um, but I wanted to do like a planner prep video. But then as I was thinking about it, I'm going to do a lineup. And I feel like that would be too close or similar of a video in a way. So I think in this video, I'm just going to talk to you about this haul and what I'm thinking about it instead of calling it my planner prep because I feel like you guys have already seen all the things that I've been buying for 2024, right? So um, I will just link those videos down below in the description box and also when I do like the setup and the lineup, I can refer to those hauls so you can see all the things that I purchased instead of doing another planner prep video or so I would call it, and it would just be like showing you all the things, you know what I mean? So, anyways, all right. This I purchased yesterday, and these two literally just came in, I think also yesterday, and yeah, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so let me just share with you these, and then we'll talk why I got them and what I'm thinking. Okay. Don't mind this. This is this is gonna be for the explanation part of the video. Okay, so well, look, this pen right here is obviously Kate Spade. I purchased this at TJ Maxx. I thought it was really nice, and it's a ballpoint. But I'm thinking I can always like swap out the ink that's in it. But it's like a one of those hefty pens that I feel like will never break. <laughs> so I just got it. It's just like a ballpoint, you know, like that. It's really nice and. I love the weight of it and everything. Again, it's just going to be something that I'll throw in the bag and not worry about because I always worry about my fountain pens and stuff like that. I usually just bring um, my pencil clenas with me too. Um, but sometimes I do worry because it's like a clicky. What if I forget to click it? You know what I mean? And this one, it's like one of these cap things and I feel like it's a little bit more secure and whatnot to be throwing in a bag and all that so anyways just like little details of it it's so cute and this was ten dollars at tj maxx it's really cute and yeah i can always just kind of like oh sorry about the squeak i can always just kind of like switch out the ink as well if i want more like a gel or something i don't know i'll see what fits right i have so many pens I'm sure something will fit this. So, yeah, I purchased that yesterday at um, TJ Maxx. It looks like this package. And here's the... It's a to-do list ballpoint pen. So, yeah, only $9.99. Like, good deal. Okay. These came in. I ordered these on Atlas. And, you know, I was like, I should have waited because now I could have gotten it for 20% off because of Black Friday, but it was one of those things like late at night, very impulse, and I kept, you know, I've been thinking about it. So it was just like, I'm going to just get it and get it over with. Okay. So this one right here is a Midori notebook, A6 size, and this is just a blank. I will list and link everything in the info box down below with the prices and everything, but I believe this is very inexpensive. So, just the Midori. I love Midori paper. Opens like so. It's just blank, you guys. Literally blank. So I got that, right? And it's an A6. You guys know I love, love, love A6. And it always, like Midori notebooks always comes with this, which I think is very nice and handy so i'm gonna keep that in there so that's that one and then this as you can see is the hobonichi a6 techo 2024 english edition i have been waiting for this for so long i know they have you know the black one um the black version which is like i forget what they call that one but it's also an a6 but i know it's not the same as this one because i think like the graph is different and all of that because it's meant to be for 
English and then the graph in this is a little bit smaller because it's meant to be for Japanese. I don't know, something like that. But I, I did it when I saw that they were going to have this in English. I've just been so enticed and and here we are. Oh my gosh. This is a full year, you guys. So I just, I just did it. I just, let's look at this. Just the idea of having one book per year sounds so good to me and to be honest i love a chunky notebook so okay oh <sighs> let me start with this first okay so the whole thing why i got this is because i have this that i totally have forgotten about <sighs> i did like a whole planner um chat with you guys showing you my lineup and i forgot all about this I even forgot all about this fountain pen because it's just been here. So this is supposed to be my gardening planner, but it didn't work out because I literally only need it for spring and summer. So from March through August, maybe September is the only time I would need this. And honestly, I didn't even keep up with it because I've been so busy with everything else that I didn't even get to do all the things that I wanted to do with this. So my whole idea was in the monthlies, I would write down um, the things that I, I buy and plant. So I would it would be kind of like a budgeting thing and also keeping track of what I planted and all that. And it, that didn't even happen. But, like, in the weekly, obviously, I would do my chores and everything. So, yeah, I even did, like, um, little things like that. Like, little maps of my garden beds and pruning and when to prune notes. All that. So, I was doing pretty good at it in the beginning. But then I I didn't get to finish because I, I just didn't have time to. I also did, like, my new plants. You know, all the things. Um, I didn't, it doesn't really need to be, uh, clean or anything. Like, as you can see, it's pretty messy. I just, like, really write down whatever. So, um, so I figure a Hobonichi Weeks I thought would be great. The whole dated thing and whatnot. And it's, it's not. Like, I don't need all this. Like, I haven't used this since July, you know? So all this is a waste and it's kind of sad. So I figure just having an undated notebook will be best. And this is also very inexpensive. And yeah, so I'm just going to use this as my gardening, not really a planner, but more so my notebook for all the notes. And I'm going to use, um, I want to do maybe like the first two pages as index just so I know what is what because I wanted to, I'm thinking of doing tabs so that's the whole idea for this and I think it will be it'll just be better because this being dated and everything is just not like not needed you know so there you go that is what this is gonna be <laughs> I'm so sorry to this Hobonichi Weeks I like neglected it and same with this pen like I forgot all about it when I did my fountain pen collection I didn't even I don't know I just literally forgot all about this this little combo <laughs> I was like what <laughs> um so yeah sad I'll keep it but you know it's just it's just sad so sad so anyways I am looking forward to this I'm gonna be transferring some of the infos that is in here into here and also I have other paper lying around I think I, I kept it in one of my folders um, for gardening references so it's gonna be all in here hopefully um, I will do that soon or before spring hopefully this will be ready to go we'll see wish me luck because I really want to do that um, you know I really want to have a gardening notebook planner type of deal to keep everything organized. Okay, so that's the whole thing with this. And now to this. <sighs> this pile right here. Oh, this bear. I don't know where to put him. I got this at Artbox. I do have another Hobonichi A6 cover coming in that I think this would go 
well on so I'm gonna wait because I was thinking like I can put them on here but I was like mm, I don't know so I'll wait so anyways this right here is is supposed to be my memory keep for 2024 this is the Avec version of this so this is the first half of the year and then this is the second half and well I really just want one book this year I know I know I talked about it with you guys before but like I just like I said I kind of I love the idea of just having one book a year and I know this is like super this has gotten chunky and it's not even done you know this is this half of the year and it's only from july through november right now really and it's already so chunky but i think it will be okay because i don't know i feel like I, I feel like i can do it i can do it so yeah i really just want one book for the year and please wish me luck because i'm gonna need it but this is just so awesome that it's in english I think I talked to you guys about, you know, this too, it's in Japanese and it's hard to like backtrack and sometimes I mess up my dates because I know the number but then like it's easier to know like what the day of the week is, if that makes sense when you're backtracking. So I think this will just be really nice to be honest. So I know I have the Avex. And, like, now what am I going to do with them, you know? It's fine. So, if this fails, I can always jump back into this. Like, I can always do the first half in this, right? And see how that goes. And if I can no longer do it, I can just hop back into this second half of the year of back. You know what I mean? That's the plan. If, if it fails. But overall, I think... I can do it. I really think I can do it. But look, look at this. So this is like first half of the year versus the whole book. Ah! Okay, so anyways, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm really excited. I really think one book for the year is just going to be amazing. I will definitely try my best not to bulk it up. But we will see. I do like my bulk or the chunkiness of of journals. That's another thing too is like, um, what is it? So like after I do the first half, right? Like this is done. You have the second half. And I hate starting the second half because you're back into this thing where it's so dinky. And it's like, where did all my progress go? You know what I mean? Like it's. It's not as motivating. It's really weird when you're starting mid-year in a new planner or in a new journal. I think it's really, really weird. So, anyways, I'm really excited to just have one, one notebook. And I really love this um, planner cover. This is the Lauren, Lauren one. I don't know. This is the Tweed one. And I really, really love this one. So this is the one that I'm going to be using for, for 2024. I really, really love it. Okay. Can I go in? It's not going in, guys. Why is it not going in? Oh, my gosh. Why is this so hard? Okay. Does it fit? Oh, my God. Why? Get in there. Okay. All right. See, look at it. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's already so chunky. How scary. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Oh, jeez. There we go. I mean, if it does get chunky, there's room. Like, these are meant to be, to get chunky. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, boy. It's already, like, I feel like it's so tight in there. Okay. 
So that's going to be my memory keep for 2024. Wish me luck. Can you imagine this? It's just going to be like that, I feel like. It's going to be so chunky. It'll be okay. It will be okay. Oh, are those... Look, it looks like there's notes in the back. Like, notes pages. <gasps> wow. There's notes pages. This one doesn't do that. Yeah, there's no notes pages. Like, you get one... Not even, like... Like, a back of that page. Interesting. See? Huh. So there you go. I don't know why that's so tight. Hopefully this kind of loosens up a little bit later on. And then for this one, I'm thinking of putting this because this is an A6. And I think it will be good because of the flowers, you know? Is it the same size? Oh, it is. Look how cute these notebooks are. Oh, interesting. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... But the Hobonichi is like slightly, ever so slightly wider. You can see a little bit of that yellow there. Huh. Interesting. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to use this cover for this. Like how perfect because of the flowers, right? So there you go. No covers are wasted. We are using them. <gasps> there you go, guys. That is that. I'm excited. Please wish me luck because, my goodness, I can't believe I'm going to do one book for 2024. I really think I can do it. I like, I, I really think I can. I'm going to keep this in here. I'm glad that um, this can work on this because oh, we're going to need that. So for these, I'm going to put this aside. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm excited. I'm really excited that this is English. I think it's going to be so amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do it. Okay, so... There you go. That is why I purchased those and my thoughts and wish me luck. <laughs> I'm nervous, but I think it will be great. I also have that um, Hobonichi button that I'm planning on sewing onto here. I think it's the reflect one. I think that's going to look really, really nice on this cover just to add a little bit something to it. Um, but gosh, I love this cover. Do you see all the sparkliness on it? And for those wondering, I you cannot put the clear cover on this because this is a way thicker cover compared to to these guys. So even if you know you have the clear cover, you try it, it's not gonna fit. Um, yeah, I tried, <laughs> but I don't think you need it. It's I don't know this. I mean, there's a possibility you could snag it on things, but I think you should be okay. It doesn't feel fragile, you know what I mean? Like, it feels like it's a really hefty, nice cover, so... Yeah, and then, like, the leather interior is just stunning. Like, I love, love that. My goodness, I have so many, <laughs> so many journals. <sighs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. So anyways, all right, I'm going to stop blabbing. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Let me know your thoughts below. Send me your wishes. <laughs> All the, the luck in the comments because I'm going to need it. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm going to do one book. Because like, look at this. Can you imagine this twice? It'll be like, it's like, <laughs> oh man. It's fine. We can do it. We can. Why is this so chunky? Like I'm looking at this and it's like, how? How did it get so chunky? And I, you guys know, I try my best not to chunk it up. Probably because I, I did ended up using more scrapbook, like 
and the summer I was like ooh let me use scrapbook paper I, mean, I think that's why I really think that's why because like this is all I don't know anyways it'll, it'll be fine we can do this okay all right bye for now I'll see y'all soon on Friday wish me luck I can't wait to hear your thoughts <laughs> let me know if you think this is gonna be a mistake okay bye